Hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah, I'm back, and I know. I know the first video has been released. I left a couple of comments encouraging the beautiful, glamorous, dipshit, dipweed, idiot, annoying couple that they are. Now, I didn't, I didn't do my live stream because of work and I had some other... Look, I have commitments that crop up and I have to do them because I want to. Not because I'm forced, but because I want to. And sometimes I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I have the day of today and I should be able to make time for a stream unless something else comes up. But there will be a stream later today. But anyway, I'm here for the real deal. I am here to give my thoughts and feelings and opinions on... The dipshit couple. The dipshittery of it all. Now, here is why. I don't care what's in their vlog. They could just literally be sitting across from each other, holding hands, making cow eyes with each other. I don't care what they're doing. The fact that she is bringing him back onto YouTube on their couple's channel in this girl world environment is not okay with me. And it's not okay with a lot of other people. And yes, it's because we don't like Chantal because of Chantal's character. And yes, it's because we don't like Salah because of Salah's character. We are biased and we have our predetermined opinions about them. And they have been proven over and over and over again. We think a certain way because of certain behaviours. So I don't want to... But you're only saying that because you hate Chantal. I strongly detest Chantal and do not respect her in any way. As a human, YouTuber, woman, person, Canadian whatever no respect there whatsoever now Salah is another matter he is just a piece of crap piece of crap man all over he has some things that make him unattractive as a partner that i would never date him i probably would engage with him but then there are things about him that are just repulsive from the point of view as a western woman and a woman in general and we're going to talk about those are you ready are you ready? We're going to talk about them. Now let's go. Let's go in soft. We'll make. We'll lube. We'll lube our YouTube um, anuses up with the, the soft, limpy Chantal. She's all juices. We'll use her as the lube. Why is it not cool and a bit gross that Chantal tries to force him down our throats like a lump of hot, spicy noodles? Because he's gross. And what he said to Kai Bella and what he's doing to Chantal. Now, we know what he said. Let's reiterate for the new people out there, for the new people out there. He said he wanted to put his hairy, saggy balls on a Christian Bible. Yep, he said that. He said he wanted to put women, and if this triggers anybody, I'm sorry, but she's the one putting him on the YouTubes. I'm just complaining about it. Um, puts him, what's to put women in a dog harness? And walk them around like the real dogs that they are. Like a real slave under his feet. He wants to spit on us. He wants to shit on us. And I'm when I say us, I mean women and Western women. He wants us to worship him as the only God. The one true God. Because he's a real God. He deserves to be worshipped. He's a king. He's a king. Um, what else does he want to do? He um, wants to pay in the poop. He wants to eat asses for eight hours. Now... If you like your ass eaten, that's fantastic. I don't know about eight hours. I feel like that's moving into torturous uh, realms. Um, I I don't know. How do you feel about that, Chantal? How do you feel about your husband eating asses other than your own for eight hours? I know it's just fantasy, but how do you feel about that? He had fantasies of grape. He wants to eat lots of grapes with lots of women. He wants to do those things. Fantasy fantasizing about it sits there some people daydream about going to the Maldives some people daydream about winning a million dollars owning a boat traveling overseas getting new tits not Sally boy he likes to sit and daydream about graping people yeah we're all different we're all different we all have different hobbies and interests and that's Sala's now I would say it's a slight deviancy um he's a deviant he has deviant thoughts and deviant behaviors and that's triggering in girl world there's a lot of people here who have been abused a lot of women a lot of women in girl world and her viewers 
her viewers may want to see Chantal's stuff because they enjoy her stupidities. Each to their own, whatever. Well, I don't get it. But each to their own. But what they may not appreciate is seeing somebody who's talked about other women that way, especially women who have been victims of, of men who have treated them like that in abusive relationships because it doesn't always come into um, sexual sexual behavior. It can also be part of an abusive um, abusive traits is to treat women like dogs and tell them that they're slaves and, and do other things, grapey type things, in abusive relationships. So when you hear a man talking to another woman like that and admitting openly that he wants to do those things to other women, that can be quite triggering and saddening. And they may want to enjoy you in Kuwait, but they certainly don't want to see that sloppy, gumby-faced looking ass on camera with you. Mm-hmm. And he cheated. And that's fine. I mean, Chantal can excuse that behavior. That's her prerogative. I mean, most spineless, wheat-wheeled desperados would pretty much forgive anything because she's not in an abusive relationship this time. So she says he's the most supportive, welcoming partner. She's staying because she wants to. She's not being forced to stay. She's staying there out of choice. And what a choice he is. What a choice he is. So, so for Chantal, the queen, because I love it when they call her queen, the queen um, who's chosen the most useless, worthless human being on the planet to be her husband that she touts around town and to force him down our gullet like she forces down bread and rice on the daily is kind of repugnant to people in girl world. And to me personally, I find it disgusting. How does she, f I don't know how she finds these um, predators. The predators look for her because she's somebody who ignores red flags. Now, I'm not saying that's a fault on her. That's just her upbringing. She's so naive. She's so narcissistic. She's so gullible. That's why she keeps finding these guys because she's not protecting herself. She's looking in dangerous places and she's finding dangerous guys. BB rolled up on her at a gas station and chatted her up. That's not the same thing as deliberately looking for guys on Tinder and marrying the first guy who asked. It's not the same as staying with your high school bestie and thinking that's my only last option in life so I'm gonna stick with it. It's not the same thing. You look for a danger, you'll find it. Mm -hmm. Simple, and that's what she's found in Sala. Now, is that all I've got for Chantal? Yep, that's it. That's it. That's all I've got for Chantal. Now for Sala. Sala. Bro, you are unwelcomed. You are unwelcome like constipation is unwelcome. You are unwelcome like an infected eyelash is unwelcome. You are unwelcome like sand in your undies. You are unwelcome like a, a thorn in people's sides. You are unwelcome like rocks in your shoe. You are unwelcome. You're unwelcome. You're unwelcome like a bad dish that Chantal's prepared for you that's got E. coli, botulism, and salmonella in it. The gut will reject it. That's what we are doing. We are rejecting you. We are rejecting you from both ends. We reject you with our ears. We reject you with our eyes. We reject you with our brains. We reject you with our morals. Everything about you is rejectable. You are a reject. Rejected. Mm -hmm. You are. You couldn't have a second wife because you don't have the means to look after your first wife. You can't maintain a singular household in Kuwait as an Islamic man, practicing Islamic man, you can't maintain that household without your wife's help. That's embarrassing. Don't you feel a little bit lyptic, a little bit emasculated as an Islamic man to know that your wife's revenue helps keep that household running? You couldn't afford a second wife, even if you could find another loser desperado to take you and their family to accept you. That's why you couldn't get any. Doesn't mean you're not hunting and looking around for one, just means you couldn't get one. Second of all, I don't know how many times you've cheated on Chantal since she was away. And I don't know how many 130 phone calls you have, if that's a regular thing, good on you, bro. Um, I don't know if this is another money-making scheme that you think chatting up old ladies online and trying to be this braggadocious, hot... I'm good. 
attractive um, Arabic man is another way for you to get revenue. Is that what you're doing at 1.30 a.m.? But what I know about you is that you feel so puny and pathetic and rejected and weak in front of women in the real world that your fantasies make you want to be the only one, the only one that women worship, the only God, the only thing that they see under your shoe because you feel so dominated and pathetic in the eyes of women because you know that you are. You're unemployed, weirdo, toddler, immature, inefficient, can't look after yourself, can't cook a dime, probably can't clean up after yourself. You are useless to women, so therefore you have to feel like you need to dominate and humiliate and denigrate them. That makes you unattractive as a man. A big ball in men doesn't need to do those things to women because they're equal with women. They praise women. They cover women. They understand the power of women. They don't feel less than because they know they are just as good as. But that's you. I mean, each to their own, each to their own, right? Um, now, all I can say for you, Sala, is that STDs are a thing. And Chantelle knows about those because she got a few from her previous partner. And apparently one of the first things you did when you got her over there was to get it tested to make sure there was nothing ongoing. With I think this was to give her the false hope that you might be getting, she might be getting some of that, that Arabic sausage, some of your sausage, or should I say gherkin or baby carrot, baby carrot, baby carrot, Sala. Yeah, STDs. Yes. So. Because we know that Chantal understands and she has a better comprehension of how STDs work, she's not going to get them from sitting on the toilet. She will actually get them from putting somebody else's genitals close to or inside of her own. When you can find them, we've probably got a few, you know, those surgical instruments you use when, like, I need some openers. Give me this, oh, what are they called? Doctors, help me out. You know, the little hooky things that they use to pull the skin apart to keep the, the midsection open? I'm guessing you've probably rigged up a couple of those to keep the fupa away because that's not a one-man job. That's a three-man job. And you've only got two sets of baby soft hands. So I'm assuming you're using the, the openers to keep the fupa out the way so you can either get to it so you can eat it out for eight hours or you can try and use whatever man parts you've got to, to stimulate the area. Who knows? I'm sure you've wangled something. I'm sure you are absolutely hitting that coochie every opportunity. When she doesn't have skin infections and when she doesn't have the lyatica and when she's not too tired and when everything just doesn't hurt and when she's not sharding and farting herself or eating. I'm sure there's 10 minutes in the day that you could possibly try and get your baby carrot in there after you've rigged up your gizmo to open up the fupa. I'm sure you can figure something out. You're a resourceful guy. Maybe ropes. Maybe something, to, I don't know, a swing? Gravity. I don't know. Maybe if you got her in the pool, maybe it would float out of the way. Who knows? But anyway, I'm sure you found a way to get up and in there. But Chantal now understands about STDs. So it's really super important after you've been to your red rooms or after you've been to wherever it is you go and leave your wife sitting in the car eating food. And you know what? She deliberately drops shit all over your car because she knows what you're doing. She knows that you are probably out there hitting on someone, picking up monies, getting free stuff, maybe picking up a secondhand cupboard to store her old spices in. Who knows? But I feel like she deliberately drops shit all over that car just to fuck with you. That's why you kept the plastic on, isn't it? You know, she eats the quesadillas like that. Pretty much everything like that. But it's really important that you wash the baby carrot. She knows how STDs work. And if you bring something home, she will threaten to leave you and then not leave you again. Do you want to have that all over the internet again? Do you want your secrets out there again? Wash your baby carrot abstain. I know it's probably hard to keep away from her because she's so stunning, especially in those plaid jammies. I would really maybe get, I don't know, Glen 20 it, antibacterial wipe, baby wipe, soap it up, do something. Maybe when you're shaving it, maybe you can give it a thorough going over. Get up in all your nooks and crannies because she knows how STDs work now because she's had a couple in a day. Mm-hmm. So that's my biggest advice. If you're going to do it, at least be smart. Now, I would be saying Beezus, if you want to help help Sala out because he's your bro, he's the man and he's the coolest, 
I, is, there, is there an air tag detecting device out there in the world? Because I feel like Chantal may have air tagged his ass. He might have them in his shoes, in his short pockets, in a couple in the Tigo, probably on his phone. Like check your check your sleeves, check your phone case, check your hat, check it all. I bet she's gone nuts. That's why she had no money for ages. She she she's bought shares in the air tags. She knows where you are at all times. Now, because I'm Team Chantal in this scenario. I feel like a, a women should not be with losers. Now, I feel like we should do some investigating and find out how your intuitive feelings, like, do you, if you feel like your man's cheating? Is he really cheating? Let's find out the ways. Let's find out how to track your apps, track their location, uncover their lies. I feel like if Salah is awake and breathing, he's telling fibs. Um, but that's just my intuition as a woman. That's my intuition, that he's a big fat liar. And Chantal's either deliberately ignoring the lies because it fits her narrative. And God knows she'll never pick up another man, not with all the skin infections and ugly jammies. I mean, fuck. She keeps all the sexy stuff for Sala, I'm sure. I'm sure she's got some nice stuff. Head no I Maybe something specially custom cut to hold fupa balls. But I, I feel like, Chantal is deliberately ignoring his behaviors because she knows she can't get anybody else and thrusting it upon the audience is just her way of saying well fuck you I desperately want a couple's channel because I feel validated then I'm married I'm married I'm married I've got the ugliest thing in the world and the worst husband ever but I'm married he's not worth anything when he's a piece of garbage Go marry a bag of trash. And the only way the couple's channel could be ever lit is if you actually set that thing on fire. Flames, gasoline, a lighter, a box of matches, a flamethrower. That is the only way that couple's channels will ever be lit in any way, by burning it down. But there are many ways to protest the channel. Leave your feedback. Leave your comments, constructive or not. Don't do it because I've told you to do it. Do it if you feel the need to be heard. Your comments will probably be deleted because cowards can't take the heat. You put his stupid face on there, but you can't take the heat. What a coward, what a puss, what a bitch, what a weakling. But anyway, I feel like she's going to keep going and going and going. And you know what? I feel like I could probably do this every single time but I don't want to waste my energy. I will respond and react as I feel it, but yes, I will watermark the Sala Rages. My, I'm going to call these my Sala Rages because I can't stand him. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And I hate, 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 hate that she's brought him back and she's forcing it upon the girl world. I hate it. Hate it. Um, but that's all I've got to say on that today. This is probably a bit angrier than I normally am. Um, it's not so much anger but frustration it was so nice when he was gone it was so nice we didn't forget but it was so nice and it's eight days so they are guaranteed to be doing another um food pantry haul any day now any day now more juice box more rice whatever blah, 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 blah. but anyway um if you have anything you want to add to my frustration video Pop it in the comments. If you hated it, let me know. If you liked it, thumbs it up. And if there's anything I've missed or anything, any points that I've absolutely got wrong and I need some clarification on it, put it in there. Your comments will not be deleted. Absolutely not. Unless they are harmful to somebody else. If they're directed at me, I don't care. But if you direct them at somebody else, I don't like them. But otherwise, they will not be deleted. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um, Sala can go suck asses, Chantal can eat dicks, and that's basically it. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>